friends i hope that you are having a wonderful week so far i am all about the easter festivities right now i am going to be working on a resurrection garden with my children today and um i actually went to home depot yesterday with my youngest daughter so i'm going to put that footage in in a moment but we're just going to be working on that and really getting our hearts and just minds ready to celebrate easter and to just really dwell and think on what that means for us and and what jesus did so i'm gonna go ahead and get going on the first project and then i will take you along with me for some fun things along the way different this year usually I do a really small resurrection garden but I thought it might be fun to change things up and do the resurrection garden in this really big pot that I've kept by our front door since I got it so I have a hydrangea which they actually discounted because some of them were broken so that was actually kind of a nice little treat because I feel like um, I can take care of this and I can help it to grow in those areas again and then I also have these really pretty white flowers some purple ones and I also have these ones which I think would look really pretty because they'll eventually drape down as long as I can take care of them properly so I have those and so I'm going to just pot what I can and then I'm gonna use this That's really so cute, cute pot as like, the resurrection, pot. the resurrection um, and the stone, and then we'll put the stone in front of it, and Down hopefully it'll turn out really nice. so far I didn't need nearly as many flowers as I thought I would so I will probably just get some of my pots out of storage and kind of decorate this whole little front porch area but here's what it looks like so far let me turn the camera around so we have the hydrangea the different types of white flowers and then we have the pot that we will place the stone in front of and then I'll put some crosses coming up right here um, to have it be a true resurrection garden for Easter. What do you think so far, Haven? Perfect. Okay, we're gonna clean up this mess and then we're gonna go for a walk and gather our next supplies. Yeah. You feel like summer days to me Warm, tender, sunny rays I hope that we are meant to be you say nothing at all when we meet, yet somehow I know your history. Oh, come what may, I'm ready. Picture frames, lavender pain. They are okay, so we just got back from our little walk. And, all right, Luke, let me see the stone that we picked. Okay. So we're gonna use this one. And it doesn't cover 
Okay. But I feel like it's enough, Mom. so we'll make it. We'll make it work here. Um, Kinsley wants out of her stroller, so I'm gonna have to grab her. But we're gonna work on the crosses now. All right, so here are the crosses that I'm gonna go ahead and glue right now with my hot glue gun, and then I'll see how well I can attach them to the planter pot outside. cordless hot glue gun so I'm hoping that it's is heated enough to where I can quickly attach and it'll hold up on here so we'll see right now um but if not I'm not really entirely sure what I'll do but I'm hoping at least one of them will stay temporary <laughs> so beautiful this is definitely my favorite resurrection garden yet I think it just is such a statement piece and I love that it can be right at the front door as a little a sweet little greeting to anyone who comes over but it turned out so much better than I thought so I'm happy that I decided to do something different this year uh, the glue is a little obnoxious so if anything I might add some moss around it but it stayed and I'm so thankful and and I'm really excited. So now I'm gonna read a little Easter story to the kiddos and, and get our hearts in the right place as we get ready to um, head towards Easter Sunday. Okay, so I have our really sweet babysitter over with my older four kids right now. So I'm having a little bit of time to myself or I mean, almost to myself. I still have Jameson, he's sleeping in the back seat. But I wanted to share a couple things. Uh, the first one being, okay, well, I should start with why I even do the resurrection garden because I realized I kind of jumped into it without explaining the purpose and the way that it can be an aid in helping point our children or your family to the cross during Easter season. So it, it's pretty self-explanatory, but just in case it wasn't quite making sense and believe me, it might not because <laughs> when I watched some of the footage back, I didn't realize how loud my kids are I don't know if it's because I have five kids that I'm becoming more immune to constant sound but I apologize if that was brutal to try to listen to it didn't sound that crazy in that moment but playing it back it it could be kind of a fail for footage but that's what I have and I can't redo it so <laughs> that was my real life um, resurrection garden craft with my kids but all that to say the purpose is to give your kids an activity. I feel like incorporating something like that and also sharing the Easter story yet again to our loved ones helps to really um, help it sink in and have it be a memorable way, an easy way to um, create discussion and, and a meaningful discussion at that. So the point is that when you put the little a rock over the you know tomb that it's removed on Easter Sunday so whenever you create it you leave the stone in front of it um, representing that he was once in there but the stone was rolled away of course on Easter Sunday and Jesus was risen indeed so um, that's it's very simple but that's the point and our kids have loved being able to remove the stone on Easter Sunday and it's just this really sweet way to begin our day talking about Jesus and what he did and for us just doing that before we even do anything like Easter baskets it really helps get our hearts in the right place far before Sunday morning so that's why I like to do it and typically I will read a couple Easter stories along with doing the craft so I'm going to be doing that tomorrow all right now I have all of my Easter stuff in storage so I'm actually gonna go pick some stuff up soon but that's the reason I didn't do it immediately after doing that with the kids but I just wanted to explain that in case it wasn't clear or you had never heard of that idea and that's a tradition we do that we have absolutely loved and and if it's something that you think you would enjoy too I highly encourage you to try this and and just um, kind of anticipate the beautiful discussions that God will um, 
bring about in something um, as memorable as that. So the next thing I was gonna share is a little writing. So um, these writings that I share, they're making me laugh because I feel like I'm the ultimate dramatic writer. But I, like I've shared in the past um, video, I just, I truly love it. And um, it's just something that helps me to decompress and to um, really think deeper and also find new and creative ways to share what is on my mind. So I'm probably going to share, I mean, I'll share lots of different ones. Oh, these are, it's hard to pick which one I want to share. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I'll do, I'll do one that's not too crazy <laughs> today. So this is, um, one that I wrote semi recently and it says, much to my surprise, you came in with the storm, and no darkened sky could withstand the sun's glistening breakthrough. That was you. I wrote that at a time where I was just really thankful for the people that the Lord had placed in my life to be an encouragement to me um, at times where I felt like I was in a really dark place, in a really difficult season, which um, if you've kept up for any amount of time, these first few months of the year were hands down the hardest few months I've ever gone through and maybe someday I'll talk more about that but it's still a little bit fresh for me and it was just just very very sad and difficult and I felt like at times I couldn't control my thoughts and I just had a lot of sad thoughts and not healthy thoughts and um I think when you're going through something, it's hard to know who do you allow to see that side of you. And, and for myself, I think there's also a bit of fear of, can you handle this side of myself? Is this okay? Um, will you stick around in these moments? Or is this something that could cause you to take a step back and, and not be there? And so there were a handful of people in my life that we're just all in and that's why I have the little saying like coming in with the storm um, because you know literally you see a storm and you tend to steer clear of it as much as you can and obviously in this case the storm is myself but I'm just so thankful that God places people in our lives who are there for us in our darkest moments and not just there they reassure you and let you know that they're not going anywhere um, Ooh, okay, I'm really going off a tangent here. Sorry. Um, so there's a song that is so, so beautiful to me. <laughs> I feel like I need to preface it because I know not everyone has the same style. Oh, I hope I can find it. Okay, it's called 18 by Meredith Brackbill. Um, okay, I'm not gonna say who, but a loved one sent that to me at a time that they were going through severe depression and it just made me cry because it spoke to the beauty of someone coming alongside someone in the midst of their pain. I hadn't listened to it for over a year. I put it on yesterday and just the tears, they were flowing because I felt like the first time I listened to that song, I was brought to tears because someone dedicated that song to me. Um, if you want to listen to it, I, I, I think it's just a beautiful song. But yesterday when I listened to it, it was like a full circle moment because now I listen to it and it reminded me of that person because they were that for me. And so I just, it made it all the more beautiful and special. So I just want to share that song because it's, it's so sweet. And, and I'm one of those people, like if someone dedicates a song to you, I, I will go and read every lyric, listen to it, listen to the way that the music sounds when they're singing it and just completely pick it apart and be like, oh my gosh, because I think it's, I think to dedicate anything, whether it's a writing or music or anything, I think it's so kind. And so I just wanted to mention that song for, for really going on a tangent here. So listen to it if you can, because it's so sweet. And I just think it's beautiful the way people can express themselves in just various ways. So the last little thing I wanted to share just for fun here is the book I'm reading. 
It's Anne of Green Gables. I thought that this cover was so, so beautiful. I love the side because I feel like this would look pretty on a shelf. I'm one of those, I guess, that wants it to look pretty and be a wonderful read. So I've never read Anne of Green Gables. It's so good. So, so good. I'm over halfway through it and it is such a carefree, sweet story. It's made me laugh at times. It's um, made me want to cry in moments. It has such precious quotes throughout it that are just so inspiring. So I'm not one to typically read like stories like this. I tend to read things that are more, um, you read it and then you apply it to your day-to-day -day life. So more like Bible study style or just things that are uh, more geared towards my faith. And I thought it'd be fun to do something a little different and I've loved it. So I'll link, um, this book in case you like this style in particular and maybe just want a good read it's just it's a really fun way to unwind lately for me um but that was it I just wanted to kind of talk to you all for a little bit and um yeah so I'm gonna grab some lunch and I thought I was going to do a craft tomorrow but I'm actually gonna do it with my kids today because I don't have as many pressed flowers as I thought because I lost some so that's what I get for not making sure I had all the supplies sooner so um, I'm gonna work with what I have and do a craft when I get home with them but um, James is waking up so I'm gonna grab some lunch get a couple errands done and then I will show you um, a little Easter craft idea that I found that is brand new to me and my kids and I hope that maybe it encourages and inspires you to um, just do something over this weekend before Easter is here I stand by you when you're falling when the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together What goes up must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around And nothing's ever lifting me higher Than a touch of your sweet desire wonderful morning with our family. I loved having my kids cousins over. I think that it's such a special and fun time whenever we get to have them around and I just know my kids had such a a fun exciting morning and that just blesses me. But before I close this vlog I wanted to read a Bible verse to you because it is Good Friday and I think 
um, in the midst of all the fun activities that come about during holiday season, sometimes if we're not careful, we can get too caught up in doing fun things and lose sight of what um, times like this are really about. And so I wanted to read Isaiah 53 verses 5 to 6 to you. And it says, But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. I thought that was such a fitting verse to allow my heart and I pray your hearts to think about, to just dwell on, and um, also just to think on it long enough for it to really penetrate your heart and to just realize how much Jesus loves us. Um, I don't know about you, but there is no love greater than the love that God shows us and in him sending his son to die for us. I think that is something that is so worthy of us laying down our own lives for and living for him. So I pray that wherever you're at today that you would know first and foremost that um, Christ loves you, that he loved us so much that he was willing to send his only son to die for us, even though we didn't deserve it. And that's something I still find so hard to grasp because it's just, I think that's part of what makes me love God even more is that it is indescribable the way that he loves us and the way that he cares for us and his consistency and his the way that his character is unwavering he is exactly who he says he is and he's so dependable and um, just gentle and loving and merciful towards us so i could go on and on but i just wanted to share that and i pray that that is something that has your heart rejoicing today that yes um today we think about the fact that jesus died and that is somber and sobering but what great joy lies ahead because we as christians know that three days later death could not defeat him and he rose again so i just wanted to share that because that is the best news we will ever receive as christians and i hope that that is something that when you hear those words your heart is just overwhelmed and filled with so much joy so i am going to go spend time with my family now we're going to um, just read um, the Bible together and just kind of go over this story as a family. But I will see you guys on the next vlog and I hope that you have a wonderful and beautiful Easter weekend and I will see you all soon. Bye!